Hello and welcome. My name is Geo from SwitchRPG.com. It has been quite a while for Animus here. Now, I have been dealing with some issues regarding my capture card and whatnot, most of which you, you probably don't want to hear. Now, in the last episode, we were almost level 20. We were 19 going on 20, really close to 20. If you look at me now, level 27. Now, I've had to, I kind of hit like a wall where I couldn't really, I couldn't really proceed with, with the weapons I had, with the level I was. So I really had to go back here and play a lot of these to gain levels, to upgrade equipment. Now, let's take a look at that equipment. Now, what really helped in gaining my equipment was this sword here. This sword has made such a big difference in the way I'm progressing here. Um, I feel like I am a little unstoppable, somewhat overpowered, maybe overleveled. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it just made a massive difference. As soon as I got the green weapon, I mean, I was just cutting through enemies. And since then, I've... I've gotten quite a bit, quite a bit of green weaponry. And now moving forward, again, I've I've been doing the grind, leveling up, so I've amassed quite the collection of green armor pieces, green set pieces, things of that nature. So again, this is leveled up to uh, four, as uh, most of the stuff is level two, three, or four. Uh, so here's uh, the monster cuirass. More monsters. I don't think. Oh, look, yeah, they do change. That's interesting. So this one adds a discovery bonus. Pretty cool. Alright, so gladiator gloves. Monster boots. Uh, this stuff, I really. That might be the next thing I hunt for. Haven't changed this. This is the only S rank thing. This is the only S rank thing that you're guaranteed to, to even get, uh, which I like because I like the dodge distance. Um, speaking of dodge distance, with this weapon, it has the animation of Dark Souls dodge, which is much better than what I was doing, which was kind of like shifting uh, dodge, which I didn't like. This one does the roll animation, which I'm much more used to. Uh, but yeah, that's enough of the character. Let's take a look. Uh, I mean the inventory. Let's take a look at the character here uh, I've maxed out HP uh, Dodge is pretty close to maxed out. That will probably be the next thing I max out I put a few points into life charge. So now I'm regenerating health, which is kind of kind of cool um, I still don't know what boys is. But hey, hey, I put I put two points into that. Look at that uh, stamina charge I am noticing, again, maybe it's because of this weapon that I, I am running out of stamina on occasion, so maybe I will start to do that. But again, I do have my max stamina pretty pretty high. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty well, I believe I'm well-rounded. Um, this is this is always my priority, was the max HP and in, in, uh, next, again, next will be dodge, but then max stamina. I think those are, uh, those are kind of important. So these are my overall stats. Oh, pretty nice, I believe. Okay, so we last left off. I believe I was having problems with this guy. Now the estimated time is five minutes. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. Because what I'm planning to do in this episode is kind of run through all of the... All of the enemies I've already beaten... Uh, just kind of run through them a little bit. Just to show you, show it off a little. Because I'm kind of proud. I'm kind of proud of what I've done. Uh, I've spent a, I've spent a lot of time doing, doing this, to be honest with you. Maybe a bit too much. Alright, still, I, even though I've done these levels, I still continue to check, check what I'm doing. So as you can see, I, I I'm kind of, kind of melting through these guys a little bit, which I don't mind. I mean, this, what I'm, what I'm doing right now, almost happened instantly. As soon as I got this weapon, it happened. I was, I was just running through these guys. So I mean, granted, yes, I have leveled it up, 
but man, I tell you, as soon as I got this, it was just, it was no joke. Absolutely no joke. So I'm pretty much doing the same combo. It's probably the quickest combo. Uh, got no stamina. So here's, uh, here's the roll animation. Again, I'm much more used to that animation with Dark Souls. I missed. And yes, it has taken me a while, but I've, I've figured out how to lock onto targets and lock off of them. Um, because I've gotten rid of the auto target, which was, it was just a hassle. But now I'm, I'm kind of familiar with how to do it. This guy seems unhappy. I know you guys have already seen this, but... I, no, have you? I don't know. Well, see it again. <laughs> He's already almost dead. So it's not quite a backstab. But um, when you knock the enemies down, sometimes there's an A or B button that you have to push. That's pretty much it. So yeah. That was... <laughs> That's it. That was him. Not one health potion was used in the making of that that run. So we got some, uh, some shards, some stuff we'll probably end up selling. All right, so we've completed this, this run here. Let's go, I think we're going to be getting another one there, but let's go here. I want to say I, I was a, unable to do this on re recording. Let's, um, let's do this here. This is the guy where I, this is where I got my first green weapon this is where i got this sword actually there's kind of like a uh, a mini boss on the way to the main boss and he is the one who dropped it and i thanked him so much by killing him but definitely that green weapon was the key key to everything so these guys come rolling in Annihilation. So that combo there is just double B. Nothing complicated. And if I triple B, see the double B does kind of like the straightforward attack, where the A does like a swinging attack, where I have it kind of. I get more uh, range out of it, I guess. Uh, side to side range. See, these guys are just fighting. Not a care in the world here. So, this is where I get. I don't have to be as accurate with this here. Where with B, I do have to be a little more accurate. Uh, this, this was the mini boss I was talking about. So I'll lock on to him. So to lock on, it's uh, it's clicking the right stick, and then to lock off, just I'll show that off in a second. You know what? To lock off, you want to hold the right stick down. That's it. That is it. I still have yet to find out what poise is. I don't think anyone will ever know. Here is the samurai. I probably should be reading like the little 
the stories. I'll start doing that. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited that I'm finally progressing without, you know, a major issue. Alright, let's lock on him. Now I'll hold the right stick. Goes away. But we're gonna lock on him. guy's giving me an issue. Alright. See, there's the A button. Now, it really doesn't do any additional damage where you think it, it should, but it does give you, uh, you know, some weapon or a shard. Definitely starting to need the shards and gold now. If you want to upgrade this green weaponry, you definitely... its it, The gold is where what you really need, as well as the shards, but you need them both. Okay, so let's... Let's start reading for you guys. Alright, Phantoms Revisited. The Fallen, once known as the Einar, were old guards of the heavens and gatekeepers of Echo. Having meddled in the affairs of mortals... They brought upon the ire of the absolutes. Now they roam the corridors of the forgotten and the forlorn. Let's see. Hopefully I don't have to use any health potions on this guy. But we will find out. Alright, let's... Do it to it. Hello. With using B, it does help to lock on. Because like I said, it's kind of a narrow field. Oh, that guy's dead. Where's, where's the other one? There you are. Hello. I think I actually already have it. But good to sell. Good to get weapon shards depending on or armor shards depending on what you need. Alright. That completes this one and you can see the banner is broken. I don't think we're going to have to go back to that. Um, Did we do this one? I don't know. You know what? Let's do it. All right. Uh, no. Did we do this? I don't know. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to move forward here. Now, th these guys get these guys get creepy. All right. Now the story is really changing. Okay. All right. Tainted Shepherd. Long before the fall of memory, panic, screams, weeping, the speech of the absolutes overwhelming. Nowhere to run. No place to hide. We were powerless. Angelic voices descended from the heavens. Abruptly replaced by scornful shrieks of indictment. The hush that followed was piercing and agonous. Imprisoned in this form, we slip further into insanity. Caught between the worlds and neither dead nor alive, we only seek the mercy of oblivion. Have you come to release us from whence you have returned? At long last, welcome home, dear bishop. 
clergy from various orders of faiths join the rank and files of Valerius's army to pray and care for those fallen in battle. Most chaplains did not survive. Those that did were given a choice between death and servitude, their only fault, having tended to the dead or dying. Therefore, Chaplain sought to levy the mor mortally wounded to service of Kerr. Pray do not follow their path, for inescapable pit of regret is the only thing waiting. May the path of resonant guide thee. Now, this is where the kind of the story takes a real, real change. So you got these, these priest like figures, these religious type figures, um, and man, do things change. They change quite a bit in tone here. Y you'll see. You'll see as I run through this, this banner here, this stage. It actually, for me, like I said, things change, but I actually like it. I love the change. It, and you'll see why. Or I'll tell you why when, when I get to it. And I don't want to spoil it quite yet. It just reminds me of something, and I, and like I said, I absolutely love it. Auto kill. Before those weren't. They they were not even close actually. This section gets a little difficult, I will admit. Oh my god, come on, hit him. See, I need to do a wider area of damage, I'll use the A. A attack. This guy. Pain in my ass. His range is ridiculous. Come on. One more hit. Oh, man. I'm not going to use um, my health potion. Oh, yes, I am. I wasn't going to use it yet until I got to a checkpoint, but I'm using it. I thought there was... There we go. There's actually, I think, a chest or something behind that pillar. Which I'm going to run to. Or the... There typically is, anyways. And it's not there. Let's get this here. Kind of redirect that as you're going along, kind of. No, did I really use that? Oh, man. I definitely did not want to use that. And here is the boss for this. Okay, here is the boss for the stage. He's kind of like a priest-like figure. All right, dude, relax, man. The one major pain in this the ass with this guy is that he 
kind of stunned you a little bit. Yeah, so you can't really get off full combo sometimes. Thanks, quick. so quick and can't really predict it. Not predict it, but you can't t tell when it's coming. So yeah, I had to use everything I tried on that one. But you can, the, again, you can see the tone is changing, right? Yeah, let's move on to... Uh, this one. This one's cool, too. I may end the episode after this one. I don't want these to be too long. But we'll see. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> that would be terrible. Right out of the gate. There's already someone. guys open up let's go see this area is kind of cool because it's longer it's got some elevation and it just that adds to the level. And I wish, I wish there was more of that. Kind of give me some change, you know? Because up until now, everything's been like, you know, level. One solid level. Kind of gets stale, you know? Still more to come here? Where is everybody? There you are. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Christmas? Let's go. Alright. This is where, again, you saw the tonal shift. But it gets really weird here. And I love it. This is a witch doll. So reminds me of the mannequin in in Silent Hill. Not even trying to hide it, you know. The sound is there. The movements are there. Perfect. And that's what I was getting at. And I absolutely love it. I wish it was. I wish it was more like that. It's almost like this game is a mix between, you know, trying to have the Dark Souls aesthetic and now it's kind of getting, I guess, Bloodborne. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's the witch doll doll boss. And I didn't read it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so bad. 
All right, so I'll read it now and then end the episode. Twist of faith. Objects of der derision. What we held in our hands, dear and sacred, twisted and turned against us without warning. How could we be betrayed like this? How? How? What did we do to deserve this? What did we do wrong? Please, please, there must be an answer. This is no way to live. All right. So that will end today's episode. Sorry about the major gap in here. I had several recordings go really bad, and I hope, I actually hope this one comes out good. Uh, but be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.